What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the Crew Tune. Well, as you all know, it is Wednesday, which means the new summit is now live. And for this week, we have the Premio, which has the lovely Countach, the old and new one on the cover there. We also have the Dazzling Tire in Platinum, which I would say is one of the brightest tires I have ever seen. And then in gold, we have the Rough CTR3 Drag Race Edition. Unfortunately, though, this car is probably going to be like one of the worst drag cars in the entire game. For some odd reason, guys, this vehicle cannot get out of its own way and does like 330 miles an hour. I really don't know why that is, but I also believe this car has been like that since release. So, uh, unfortunately, that vehicle is going to be kind of useless. The only good thing, though, is if you guys do have this vehicle, you will luckily get the money back for that. So, I guess that's one positive. But now moving over to next week's summit is probably going to be a pretty intense one for that matter. The Rising Sun is making a return back into the game. So in silver we have the Red Smoke, which is pretty self-explanatory. And then in gold, we have the legendary half set boosted for the Drift class, which is going to be a scorebreaker. I did mention in last week's video though, guys, that you don't actually need scorebreaker on the drift set. You're more aiming toward having Slippery and or Hothead on that vehicle because that will greatly increase your score for the drift events. But moving over to Platinum, the Lancer Red Fury Edition is making a comeback into the game once again. I would say many players are definitely going to go after this vehicle. By the way guys, if you already have the Lancer and still want to do the Summit, I do believe you'll get money back for actually already having the vehicle. But that is one crazy looking Lancer for that matter. So if you guys don't have this thing... It will definitely be worth going after because that is one insane looking Mitsubishi Lancer. But moving over guys and taking a look at the summit now, I would say this one's going to be pretty fun. So you do get to test out the vehicle in the summit. Then we have a drag event, a touring car race with the MX-5, a drift event with the 370Z, and then finally two street races after that. So you also have to drive the Ninja H2. So that's going to be pretty interesting for the most part. But I would say this summit is going to be pretty intense. And one good thing though is there's not going to be any crazy slaloms in this summit, so I think that will make a lot of players happy. But moving over to the next summit is going to be the Santa Special, so we have the Loot Digger boosted in the Street Class there, which is going to be in Silver, so I believe you only get three parts out of that, and then in Gold, we have the Dodge Challenger SRT Demon Interception Unit. Definitely a pretty sweet looking car, but again, if you guys do have this vehicle, you will luckily get the money back for that. And then finally in Platinum, we are going to have the Ugly Christmas Sweater, which if I had to guess, the name is definitely going to fit that to a T. Like, my goodness, who is actually going to want that? And what's kind of funny, though, is the second I saw this sweater last week, I instantly thought about that SpongeBob song. So that might actually fit it pretty well. But let me know what you guys think about this in the comments below. I feel like a lot of players are not really going to care too much for this. But moving over to the next summit, though, is luckily going to be a lot better. So Into the Storm, the best of, I would say, is going to be a really good summit. Mainly because that BMW M8 Performance Edition is looking pretty awesome, guys. I mean, I really do like the body kit. This car was also seen in one of the trailers, I believe, as well. Plus, I think those are actually stock rims on the car. I could be wrong, but my goodness, this car does look pretty awesome. And then finally in gold we have the pink underglow so I would say this summit is definitely going to be pretty awesome. If I had to guess though I would say most players are most likely not going to do the Santa special. Now moving right over to the Premio Summit here, jumping into the first skill is going to be a Speed Trap. So for this one guys, I did end up picking the Corvette Stingray. I know that's kind of a shocker, like no one actually uses this vehicle. <laughs> but anyway, I would say this car is probably going to be the best option, not only for the Speed Trap, but also the Escape for this week as well. But I did mention in previous videos, if you guys do want to get over like 410 miles an hour, you will have to slipstream somebody to get that high of a score because you can only hit like 410 or so running a nitro chemist set on the stingray just do keep that in mind if you guys want to get more points on the speed trap but to be honest i feel like getting higher points on the speed trap is not really worth the stress that will come with it but moving over to the next skill is going to be an escape and for this one again i would recommend picking the stingray for this and honestly guys this is probably one of the easier escapes in the game you basically just have to drive by this objective, then turn around and hit it, and go as fast as you possibly can, of course dodging the vehicles in the way on the road because they honestly will spawn right in front of you, and you will be heading toward the salt flats where you could basically hit your nitrous and go as fast as you possibly can, and luckily there's not really too many things to hit out there except other players. 
And then moving over to the final skill this week is going to be a slalom. And for this, I did end up picking the Vector V40R. To be honest, guys, I would say you could basically use any power boat for this, but I really do recommend trying out the Vector. I feel like this boat is kind of slept on in a way because the handling is literally perfect for the slaloms, and I feel like this is probably the best thing for this boat. I did see somebody running an actual like 1414 demon on this and they were crashing into stuff because that boat is great. It will also run into things because it is huge so I would recommend trying the Vector V40R. But moving over to the first event is going to be with the i8 Roadster. To be honest I really haven't used this BMW all that much but after running this thing in one of the new races here I would say the BMW is honestly not that bad of a vehicle. It's actually pretty decent. It's kind of odd how it accelerates and if you guys do run manual it might take some time to get used to but overall I would say the Roadster is not that bad of a car. And then moving over to the next event is going to be a hypercar race where you have to drive the McLaren Senna which is by far going to be one of the best hypercars in the entire game. Do keep in mind though guys this is the South Strip so this car only does like 294 miles an hour so you're unfortunately not going to be able to get an insanely high score solo. I would say even slipstreaming somebody you probably might struggle just a little bit. So I would say around 125k is probably going to be a pretty dang good score on this one. Even 120,000 points as well because if you do not have a Nitro Chemist set, it might end up being a little bit more difficult to keep this car up to speed. But regardless though, I would say you can get 120k pretty easily running the Senna because this is by far one of the best hypercars in the game. But now moving over to the next event is going to be a street race and for this one it is no restriction. I'm not going to lie by the way guys, I probably picked one of the worst possible options for this event. I wanted to run something different besides the Lamborghini Countach, which by the way is like the considered new meta vehicle on the Crew 2. That car is literally that good. So if you guys do start seeing a lot of those in the leaderboards, you will now understand why. But I did decide to run the Aerial Atom, and the main reason for that is going to be the handling. I found the handling of the Aerial to be insanely good. Now this thing does have an issue with it shifting with like a delay, which I would say might be some issue with this car in this race. But regardless though, the Atom did a lot better than I initially thought it was going to, and didn't seem to be an insanely bad vehicle. And then moving over to the next event is going to be a powerboat race. So for this one guys, I did indeed pick the 1414 Demon. I would say most players are most likely going to pick the Demon because this boat is honestly just that good. I really do not see a point of picking any other boat on the races because the Demon is literally the fastest one it handles so good. I really don't see a reason to use any other boat in this class. And then moving over to the next event is going to be an Alpha GP race where you do get to drive the KTM Expo R. What's kind of funny is after using this car for a little bit, I can kind of see why a lot of players don't actually like it. The main reason why I say that is the Expo R does have a lot of twitchiness to it compared to some of the others. Now this could be because of the agility and the overall like size of the KTM, but to be honest this car is still going to be insanely good, but I can now see why some people do pick like the Mark X or some of the other Alpha GP vehicles, because the overall stability and twitchiness of the Expo can definitely be on the annoying side. Now guys, moving over to the final event in this summit, I did want to run one of the vehicles I have never used in a summit before. That's going to be the Proto Lucky One, which I would say to this day is probably still going to be one of the best motor pass vehicles we have ever had. This car was also free back in the day, but my goodness guys, the Proto Lucky One is incredible. The way this car can handle, the way this thing has its speed, if you guys have not ran this car... I would highly recommend trying out the Proto Lucky 1 guys because my goodness this car is honestly slept on but then again I feel like a lot of players know how good the Lucky 1 actually is. And for this thing being in the motor pass and also being free I would say many players have gotten this vehicle so I would recommend trying it. To this day even though the interior in the Proto Lucky 1 looks like it's like out of like Minecraft or something. I would say this vehicle still by far when it comes to handling and stability and even overall speed is still going to be one of the best hypercars in the entire game. But that is basically going to do it for this summit. So overall we have a nice mix of events here that luckily aren't too annoying to do. Even the escape is going to be on the easier side compared to some of the other ones like taking a hypercar down a mountain. My goodness. But anyway guys let me know if you have any questions at all in the comments below. Let's jump right into the summit.